What is going on guys, how are you? Welcome back to the channel and to another video. Today we're reviewing straps again and not just any straps. Yes, Artem straps again. And this one is the other premium model of straps that they sell the Hydroflex Hybrid FKM. Before diving into the video, I wanna take a quick moment and rant and also give a thank you to Artem Straps in the process. First things first, these straps have been provided to me by Artem Straps for the purpose of this review and I don't have to return them, hence the paper motion tag in the corner of the screen. Now, the ranting part. I don't normally do this, but I feel that I need to kind of get this off my chest. A few of my fellow watch reviewers have been getting some hate in the comment sections for doing videos where they receive samples from other brands slash companies for the purpose of reviewing, hence the paid promotion tag in the corner of the screen. I want to say to all these people that have made these comments that because of brands such as Artem or other micro brands that have sent us samples to review, we are able to make content for you to consume for free. Yes, for free. And also grow our channels in the process, which enables us to produce more content and so on and so forth. This is not easy and most of us do this as a hobby in parallel with full-time jobs and also with families. Unlike other people, we're not rolling in cash. So again, please people keep it classy before thinking of making some sort of hate comment. So overall, thank you Artem for allowing us, allowing me, enabling me to make this video for your straps and also producing content. All right, so keep it classy people. And also please subscribe, honestly. No, no. Now at this stage, Artem should be a pretty well-known company in the industry or a strap company in the industry so i don't think we should go into the details that much but for those that are new there's a link into the description box next to that subscribe and like button and one thing that i want to mention there is a detail that i don't think is being discussed at that much and the fact that artem is indeed a premium strap company full stop and these will automatically come with a hefty price tag. The thing is that before judging the price, you have to understand where and what side of the market this is aimed at. So in my opinion, we're talking about the people that have at least two watches in their collection that are over three grand and don't mind spending another $200 for a strap. Anyway, so let's take a closer look at the Hydroflex. They have a few colors in the lineup. I have the black and the gray, which in my opinion should be pretty much enough to cover all color combinations or all, all dial color combinations that you may have in your collection. In hand, on, on, on hand, wrist, these scream high quality. And I know what people will say in this case, oh yeah, it's just FKM rubber, it's just rubber, rubber. Now relax, it's not just that. This is soft FKM rubber with their nylon synthetic stitching material on top. That folds extremely nice on the top of the strap. Has two keepers, one floating and a fixed one, matched with beautifully finished hardware. Just like the sailcloth ones that we had a look at not too long ago, these are made for the water. On the wrist, they are beyond soft and they do not need any breaking in. Actually, I think they are softer than the sailcloth and because those ones took a little time to break in. So I do prefer these. They're a bit more comfortable and in my opinion, I think that they suit a wider range of watches. Anyway, with that out of the way, let's throw them on some watches and have a look at the way they sit. First up is the gray, which in my opinion works more on darker tones, but for me, the best combo has to be my Alpinist. Dark dial with the dark keepers work really well and sort of makes the watch more outdoorsy as if the Alpinist wasn't outdoorsy enough. I mean, pretty much all straps work on the Alpinist, but this I think is just made for it. I think the gray suits it better and just because of that little contrast between the dial and the strap. Plus the Alpinist is 200 meter water resistant. So if you want to take this in the water, you're more than prepared this time. Next up for a bit of diversity, let's see how it looks like on my Seiko chronograph. 
I mean, if you ask me, the subtle texture on the straps works really, really well with the texture dial on the Seiko. And again, it makes the watch more outdoorsy, but also more comfortable and more soothing, soothing? More compatible with your day-to-day -day wardrobe, I wanna say. And finally, we get to the black one, which looks like it came off the Khaki Auto. This normally comes on a leather, but again, brown leather, I think, but again, just like the other ones, makes the watch even more suited for a day to day, as this wasn't, again, capable enough for that. And if you wanna do some field work, you have a comfortable yet prepared strap to do that. Get field, field work. So there you go guys, we just had a quick look at Artem's Hydroflex lineup, which to me fits really, really well into the Artem framework architecture, if you want to call it that, of straps. These are my favorites from the brand and I much prefer these over the sailcloth ones. They still come with a premium price tag and they are not aimed at the average watch collector. Again, I'm sorry that I had to say this, but I feel that I do have to say this. Remember, the cost is all relative, and in my opinion, they do live up to it. That was it from me, guys. Thank you very, very much for watching the video. Let me know in the comment section what you think about Artem Streps, and I know that you will if you made it so far in the video. Uh, click a link, click, click a like, subscribe to the channel if you haven't. So, and thank you very, very much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. And also, be nice in the comments.